What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. And the building didn't start yet. Y'all the realest ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Candace Owens explains why she married a white man. Honestly, man, I don't, I don't, I'm not even sure why she explaining this. <laughs> I, I personally, first of all, I didn't know she was married, number one. I didn't know she was married to a white man, number two. Um, but I personally don't, don't really care, man. Like you marry, marry who you want to marry. Whether it's the same uh race, opposite race, I I can tell. Hey, I wish you the best. As long marry someone that you feel connected with, someone that understands you, someone that loves you and treats you right. That's about, that's about as good as it can get. That's all I can ask for. I can care less about the race. I can care less about anything like that. Nah, bro. Do your thing. Uh, do your thing. But uh, but let, let's get into it, y'all. Um, I think she was she was recently fired from uh, what is it called? The Daily Wire, I believe. I think she was fired from there um, because of some of the remarks that she made in this interview and some and a few other interviews. Um, I'm not covering any of that because I don't know too much about it. <laughs> but, uh, but let's get into it, y'all. I want to go back to something you said earlier because I know a lot of people will hear you say, well, Candace, you're speaking a lot about, you know, the black family, but then you married a white man. Yeah. I'm Dr. Always... Umar would have a huge problem with that. Okay. I would love to talk to him more about that because i mean it's it's always very interesting to me to hear this paradox of black people who will make an argument that you know the system is racist and then also make an argument like this which is essentially making an argument for the supreme court to revisit virginia versus love and basically say that black americans and white americans shouldn't be marrying i think the greatest thing ever is when people come together on the basis of who they love and get married you know, for me personally, I never thought of my husband as a race. It's, it's just very interesting to me that to see people go, she's she's married to a white man. When I look at my kids, I'm not like, oh, my kids are mixed. I married the person that it made the most sense for me to marry. I have a mind that is just, you know, if you even knew half the things that I'm thinking about, the stuff that I'm reading, just go, 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 go all the time. It's it's difficult for me to find, it was difficult for me to find a partner that was a challenge to me, you know, the challenge mm -hmm. that I needed, um, whether you want to say like an academic challenge, whatever it is, with my same interests. Mm -hmm. It just was. Uh, what you will know, a lot of times people think that when people come together, it's because of how they look. Actually, I actually read this in a Thomas Sowell book, or maybe it's a Shelby Steele book. Uh, people tend to marry their IQ, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. You think like if you see two black people together, oh, it's because they are two black people, but actually they, they are probably better matched based on their IQ. Um, you know, I fell in love with my husband just because I think he is one of the most brilliant people ever. You know, I love him very much. The stuff that we talk about, I'm like, there is no other person that I could have married. We have three beautiful children, uh, yeah. who are growing up in an environment that I am just so happy that I was able to, you know, what every parent wants to give your children better than you had, you know? And I, she, bro, she got three kids, bro. Again, I, uh, this is how, this is how, listen, <laughs> I'm so detached from, um, you know, even though I'm more on social media, but so detached from social media and celebrities. Uh, right? I, I mean, is she a celebrity? I guess you can call her or influencer. I, I, I think she's called. Um, I'm so detached from people. I don't know who they in relationship with. I don't know who they married. If they married, how many kids? She got three kids. <laughs> this is news to me. Uh, yeah, all right, cool. Say less. So, so she, bro, listen. Kenneth always said a lot, and it goes back to what I was saying earlier about yo, you marry whoever you want to marry. As far as somebody treating you right, loving you, all this, that, and third, I wish you nothing but the best. Um, she said something about marrying IQ. I, I'm, I don't fully agree to that in majority. Maybe, nah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't agree to that in in, in majority. You see, dudes, um, CEOs, dudes that you know, doctors and stuff like that. For the most part, a lot of them. Yeah, sometimes they do marry other doctors or marry other ones that's other CEOs. But for the most part, in majority. No, it's it's the assistant. Not to say that her IQ isn't as high as his, but yeah, it's kind of not as high as his. <laughs> um, but no, I, I just I don't I don't fully agree with that. You know, I you know, when you look at, you know, I I, I really don't want to name any people, man. I really don't want to name anybody. So let me let me let me just leave it alone. Uh, I don't agree with the whole IQ thing. I just I just don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know people who are uh, lawyers. I know people who are doctors. I know people who are engineers, uh, males, right? That did not marry their 
quote unquote IQ equal counterparts. They marry someone extremely below them uh, when it when it comes to IQ, when it comes to education, when it comes to you know uh, certifications, degrees, finances. A lot of the times, as men, we don't care. Maybe for women, it's different. I don't know, but for for men, no. That's all I can say. I'm just the luckiest person in the entire world. How do you feel about you not finding him attractive and just liking him for his mind? What do oh you? Oh my god! <laughs> what? He, he got he got the smear already ready for the journalists that are listening. Janet it says her hell? husband is not. <laughs> it was a bonus that I also think that he's beautiful and gorgeous and handsome, but it really was about his mind. I know I married the right person and I want every person to never allow like race to be a barrier to you finding love. That is yeah. so foolish. That will stop you. And by the way, you know, there's this, there has been so much toxicity in particularly in black relationships because of the media portraying black men as this or black women as this. And I, we just have to stop doing that. You know, yeah. have you ever dated a uh, black man? Before? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I dated black men, which is another thing that I always find really funny because the media tries to portray me as someone who only liked white guys. Mm. Actually, if you want to be honest, I started off on a really strong Asian kick in my life. Oh my gosh. I okay. thought I was going to marry an Asian man. What's mine? <laughs> I did. My first okay. boyfriend was Japanese. My second boyfriend was Korean. I just really loved Asian men. It was weird. That's right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like, Stanford, Connecticut, there was an Asian population in Stanford, yeah. Connecticut? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, there's Asian population everywhere. I don't know. Was there a, a higher one in Stanford, Connecticut? No, I think okay. I just pursued... She's from Connecticut. There's black people in Connecticut. Let me stop. I'm, <laughs> I'm joking, y'all. But no, no. She, she's from an uh, interesting background. Interesting background. And, you know, I, I don't think... Have I been to Connecticut? I don't think I've ever been there. I don't think I've ever been to Connecticut. Yeah, that's 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 interesting. That's that's interesting. Yeah, man, that's that's crazy. Yeah, I I just uh, again, man, listen. Someone who's heavily involved with uh, interracial datings. Uh, she said she dated a Japanese man. Her first boyfriend was Japanese. Second was Korean. She said she dated black men here and there, and then married a, a, a Caucasian uh, man. You know, I, I just think it's these types of things are way more uh, accepted in those in certain states, right? In like in the Connecticut and stuff like that, is is interracial datings is a lot more higher. When I was in Ohio, when I was in Indiana, when I was in Virginia, like the DMV area, it's very very popular there. Detroit, very popular. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it because I don't care. Again, date who you want to date, but I've noticed that when I went to Indiana, I've noticed that a lot of black men and black women with Caucasian and Hispanic or whatever. Uh, when I was in Ohio, it was the same thing. I don't think I've ever seen a same race couple. When I was in Ohio, I, I was in Ohio for, I was, um, well, I was, I was there, oh, I was there, uh, <laughs> that's crazy, Me memory unlocked, I was there with, with some chick, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's starting to come back to me now, that's crazy, yeah, I was there with some chick, and I seen, like, every black, every black male, every black woman was with an opposite, uh, opposite, uh, race, when I was in Ohio, it, it's, it was like, yo, this is crazy, what is, what is happening right now? I think it's more so popular, I guess, up north than it is down south of Florida. I don't, me personally, I don't know. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist because it does exist, but it's a lot more accepted in in, in the north. Let me hear it. Let me so I get up out of here. Asian, I don't know. I just yeah. liked Asian guys. Yeah. And it's always fetishizes Asian men. <laughs> oh my gosh! Stop painting the headlines so they can grab it. What is wrong with you? Y'all man, crazy as hell, man. Um, yeah, man. I mean, hey, I wish her the best. Her and her three kids. That's crazy. I did not know Candace Owens had kids. That's insane. Shout out to her. Uh, I want y'all to comment down below. And let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, I mean, I'll her a